I'm going to take this door latch mechanism off. First step is to take off these three screws that hold the door latch mechanism onto the door. Now the rod to the door handle is still holding that mechanism in the door so the next step is to take off the rod that goes over to the door handle. Alright, three more screws hold on the door lock handle. you want to be careful of right now is you can easily bend this flange on this door shell since the skin's not on it. So when you're working with it in this situation, be really careful that, especially you don't put it down on a corner and lift it up and spin it around or something because you can really, you can bend one of those corners and not even know it. Last thing that's stopping us is there's one more screw right here. That's it. That's out. Now you notice I've tagged these three levers. One of these goes to the door handle. This goes to the key. And then this is the one that goes up through the door uh, that you push up and down to lock and unlock the door. Now it, might be sort of obvious, that, you know, at least at this, the lock button one that you push up and down which one it is. But I just like to get into the habit of tagging all of this stuff so that there's never any question in my mind what goes where. So I'll put this thing down in, the, in my basement in the workroom and eventually I'll get around to cleaning this thing all up and we'll lubricate everything. Uh, I know on the passenger side one, there's a spring in here that you can get you can get a replacement spring if yours is really rusted out. This one doesn't look too bad. I'll take it off and take a look at it and see. But uh, otherwise, everything works pretty smooth. And once we clean it up and degrease it and then you know put some fresh grease on it, it'll, it'll be just like brand new. Now to make sure I don't lose any of these little screws that I just took off, I always uh, bag and tag everything. 
So I'll fill out this little tag. Call it something that I'll remember what it means, driver door lock mechanism. Now, I'll put down, uh, in the back of that, I'll put, you know, three times flathead, three times just a regular sort of pan head, and then one smaller screw is also a pan head. That way you know what was supposed to be in the bag if it gets a hole in it or something and you see a screw rolling around in the bottom of the box, maybe you can figure out where it goes. These are kind of these are kind of grungy, kind of dirty. Some of them still have that um, that sealer that was on the inside of the door. So I'll clean all these up at some point. But for now, we'll put them in a the bag so I don't lose any of them. Of course, I always have my notebook, making some sketches and some notes about where the screws went, how the uh, how this part was inside the car. I already took my pictures, so between my pictures and the notes, I can always put anything back in that I take off. Okay, one last video for the day. Here's the inside of the door shell. I'm just going to spend the rest of uh, today cleaning up the inside of this thing. I use a wire wheel on the grinder. Maybe some steel wool. I'm not going to get too crazy about it. And it'll be ready to paint the next time you see it. So I'm just going to put everything away, spend some time and clean this thing up. Let me just show you one thing before uh, before we turn it off for the day. This is that lower front corner where the door skin had a rusted out hole in it. And you can see what happens. There's a gusset plate here, a stiffener. And when the door skin is right on top of that, there's not much of a gap between the back of the door skin and this gusset plate. So you'll get dirt in there. You'll get... Uh, moisture that comes down in it will soak into that dirt and you'll have a constant supply of water on sitting on the back side of your door skin and it'll eventually rust it out and put a little hole in it and that's exactly what happened on ours. Both of our doors had that problem so this was something that was related to the design of the car because of the placement of that gusset plate to the proximity of the door skin, all of these cars suffer from that issue. So the only thing that I, I can do on my car when I put it back together, I'm going to paint this, I'm going to paint the inside of the door skin, put some undercoat on the inside of the door skin, and hopefully my, you know, I'm not going to have it out in the dirt. You know, it will take a little bit better care of it, not that people didn't take care of their cars. And, you know, the next time it rusts out, you know, it'll be, probably be a long time after I have the car. So, that's it for today. We'll just clean the rest of this thing up and get it ready for primer and a coat of paint.